Hi everybody, welcome to another video on this series on powerful writing to gain influence, avoid miscommunication, and hence save costs to yourself or your organization. We continue the lessons on how to write simple and direct sentences, and today the topic is use parallel ideas in parallel forms. Remember, sentences are the clearest, most forceful, and easiest to understand if they are simple and direct. If instead the sentences are complicated and not direct, the reader is slowed down and even confused. So far we have seen five simple techniques on how to make sentences simple and direct. These techniques are make the topic the subject of the sentence, move the action into a verb, avoid noun clusters, write short sentences, and use pronouns clearly. Links to the corresponding videos are in the description beneath this video on YouTube. Let's now discuss today's powerful idea. Check this sentence. The doctor examined 100 patients, working no more than 10 hours a week, who were single. Whom does the phrase working no more than 10 hours a week describe? Does it describe the noun patients? If so, the phrase acts as an adjective. Or does it describe the verb examined, in which case the phrase acts as an adverb? To clarify, consider this revision of the same sentence. The doctor examined 100 patients who were working no more than 10 hours a week and were single. Now we know that it is the patients who were working for no more than 10 hours. This sentence is simple to understand because it repeats some patterns. Let's visualize those patterns. After taking a start, the sentence divides into two parts. These two parts state two ideas, that is, working no more than 10 hours a week and being single. These two ideas are equally important and are written in the forms which are grammatically identical. Therefore, we say that this sentence contains parallel ideas and these ideas are written in parallel forms. Moreover, the parallel ideas are separated by a conjunction AND. So the lesson is, if the sentence must convey parallel ideas, it must do so in parallel forms. Otherwise, the logical relation of the ideas is obscured. Parallel ideas are ideas that are equal in logic and importance. They appear in sentences that use conjunctions such as AND, OR, or BUT. Parallel ideas also appear in comparisons, but we shall discuss comparisons in the next video. The parallel forms repeat the same grammatical structure to express two or more parallel ideas. The repetition of the grammatical structure or form is important because the form of the first idea prepares the reader for the form of the second idea and so on. Therefore, the readers can focus all their attention on the ideas instead of getting distracted by their changing forms. So here is another example but with a different conjunction but. During the fall, the jet speed increased, but a decrease was noted in the pressure on the wings. Is this sentence in a parallel form? I hope you agree with me, it is clearly not. Therefore, while we know that the jet speed increased during the fall, we cannot say the same about the pressure on the wings. Perhaps the pressure had already decreased before the fall, but was only noted during the fall. If you wish now, you can pause the video here and rewrite the sentence in a parallel form. However, here it is. During the fall, the jet speed increased, but the pressure on the wings decreased. In this parallel form, the author's intent is now clear which is that both these changes occurred during the fall. 
Note we can use another conjunction and, and the same reasoning still applies. Parallel forms often get mixed up when we use paired or correlative conjunctions. Examples of these conjunctions are both and, either or, neither nor, etc. Let's now see how parallel forms get mixed up with the paired conjunctions. For instance, I am in not for desserts, but appetizers. What is wrong with this sentence? Take your time. We can clearly see, and I hope you agree, that a preposition is missing in the second idea. So we fix that. Alternatively, if we do not want to repeat the preposition for, we can swap the positions of the conjunctions and the prepositions. So we can rewrite as, I am in for not desserts, but appetizers. Now a single preposition for applies to both the parallel ideas. Another rule of thumb with the paired conjunctions is that both the conjunctions should come either before or after the prepositions. Now examine this sentence. The grade depends on both the scientific rigor and on the writing quality. Here the problem is that the conjunctions exist both before and after the prepositions. This is not correct. So let's revise. The grade depends both on the scientific rigor and on the writing quality. Now the conjunctions are on the same side of the prepositions. But if we wish to avoid repeating the preposition on, we can do that as well. The grade depends on both the scientific rigor and the writing quality. Sometimes there are multiple levels of parallelism and they should be so distinguished. For example, we noticed that the pressure increased, the velocity decreased and observed an overall saturation. In this sentence, the two ideas that are underlined are in a parallel form. But the way the sentence is written, the reader expects as if the third idea after and is also a part of this parallel form. However, it is not. Instead, noticed and observed are in parallel with each other. As in, we noticed something and observed something. We can clarify that as in revision 1. We noticed that the pressure increased and the velocity decreased and observed an overall saturation. Notice now we use and twice in the sentence. However, multiple ands can look inelegant. So we can separate the third idea with a semicolon. So we revise. We noticed that the pressure increased and the velocity decreased. We also observed an overall saturation. So that completes the lessons today. And to validate whether you have fully understood those lessons, here is some homework for you. In the sentences which appear on this and the next slide, write parallel ideas in parallel forms. Please also adhere to the instructions specific to each sentence. So that's it for today. The next lesson on writing simple and direct sentences will be compare correctly. If you enjoyed this video, please leave your feedback, answers and discussions under this video. And please also look at the work left by others so you can learn from their work. Also, if you wish to know when the next video is out, but you have not yet subscribed to this channel, press subscribe underneath this video, which may look like this or this. And once you do that, the subscribe button will turn gray. Do not press it if it is already gray because doing that will unsubscribe you. If you have just subscribed, a bell icon will also appear. Press that as well and a ringing bell will appear. As before, do not press the bell if it already appears ringing.
Thank you and see you in the next video.